Hey guys, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney! And today is the day of the trial. Again. Whoa. Why are you looking so mad? Well, God. I got you! Don't sweat it! I'm pretty sure. Um, Mr. Wright? Yeah, whatever. Why do you look so unhappy? Man, I'm I ain't be able to eat in like 10, 20 days. Come on. You'd be mad too. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> nothing. Uh, do I look upset? Um, no, I'm confident. Totally. Really. It's nothing. I got you, man. Maybe. M Mia, right? We, we got this? Uh oh, she looks even happier. God dang it. Um, Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel so close to him. Wait, what? <laughs> There's no time for dead people to- Oh, no, I can't- <laughs> I was about to say. Dang, that's funny. Uh, please, Mia! Oh, my God! I didn't know you're such a comedian. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something... overlooked. Uh... I don't know about that! We have to find something, Phoenix. Today. It's that or we lose the trial. This isn't gonna be easy. Yeah. Crud, dude. But I'm still gonna try my hardest! Like, real talk, I know I'm like, oh man, we're screwed, but there was one thing I did realize while recording, editing, and watching. I don't usually watch the video I make that day, but this time, I did, because I want to be fully prepared. So I'm going in laser focused to win this trial. Bring it on, Edgeworth. You ain't got nothing. Oh, wait, he has like 20 witnesses. Crrr. Court's now in session for the trial. We're still doing this thing? Come on. The prosecution is ready. Ditto. My favorite Pokemon. All right, Phoenix, no one asks. All right, Mr. Edgeworth, statement, please get on with it. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today I would like to show evidence providing, or proving, they had nothing to do with the murder. Okay, sure, why not? You may call your witness to the stand. I wonder if it'll be that producer. Or the kid. Yeah, that's, that'd also be kind of bad right now. Or maybe good, crud. The prosecution calls Mr. Sa oh, not him! The director, crud, okay. God, I forgot how ugly he was, Jesus. <laughs> Will the witness state his name and profession, please? <laughs> Here it comes, you know we ain't gonna say it. How low can you get? You don't know me, I'm the director. I make the steel samurai, noob. Raffle. God, you gotta feel bad for Edgeworth sometimes. Uh-uh. <laughs> Sal Salmonella, I'm a director, television, sir. We are at the Global Studios on the day of the murder. Uh, yeah, I was, actually. Hmm. Well, that settles that. Well, well, police testify the court by the day of the event, yeah. Phoenix, yeah, what up? Let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. Uh, yeah. Dang, she don't waste no time. Because she's a professional, Phoenix. You could learn a lot. Okay. Gosh. All right. Let's see what he has to say about the day of the murder. I was at the studios from around 9 that morning. During the morning, I was, uh, uh doing an action scene run-through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. Why? Hmm. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. I had a meeting in studio trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. <laughs> we were in the meeting until four. During that meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left it. That's weird. I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. Why is any matter of fact about that? Strange. No one even went up to, like, go to the bathroom or nothing? That's sus. I've been to, like, three meetings in my life, and I was probably at that meeting, or all of them collectively for five minutes, because I just left the room so often. Okay. Ah, uh, that's about it. I didn't know it. Swear I'm a, swear I'm a model. Kids. <laughs> People still build those. I don't know. I like them. Anyway. Hmm. 
Why does this boy always interject his nerdy hobbies? All right, time when Mr. Hammer's death was two thirty. According to your testimony, you were at the meeting all that time. Mr. Rot, you may begin your cross-examination. Yeah, I'm on it. Kinda. There's actually a couple things he says, because he goes, uh, uh, yeah, like a lot. But I do remember one thing. Uh, wait, it's not here. Crap. I thought that was evidence. This is Omega Sus. I, like, played it off like, eh, someone's taking sleep pills? That's totally normal. And, like, didn't think about it. But, like, I don't think that's relevant yet. But here's the thing. All right, so we got to the, you know, why did the run-through take so long? Uh. I don't know, I guess that's not really relevant. Took a lot more time and... Yeah. I hear that everyone else had lunch in the employee area. Let's press him on that. I mean, there, there's literally no downside. What exactly did they have for lunch? <laughs> Tipo stay! <laughs> the assistant cooked some up. <laughs> Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones. So, yeah, that's true. Everyone else... Meaning that the witness did not eat with them. Yeah. But that's important. Because there were there were things there. We were in the meeting until around four. During the meeting, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. What? Why are you not certain? You didn't take a single break? Come on, you expect us to believe that? Uh, well, yeah, not one. Uh... What's he sweating so much for? I wonder. Dude, because he's lying! They did take a break! I just have to prove- wow! If only you had an idea. I'll wait for one to come up and hit me with it later. What? 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 Phoenix, if his alibi holds powers, is finished. Yeah, I know. Press him as hard as you can. Find out what he's lying about. Yeah, uh, I'm on it, but still, I don't know. Crud. Uh, do I have to press everything? I feel like this is a scenario where I have to. Wait, I had a meeting in the studio with two trailers, so I ended up skipping lunch. That's not true. You ate outside, and you know you did. So in the end, you didn't get to eat? Uh, yeah, no steak at least. Can't you believe it? That must be so hard, man. Wow. It's not like I've been involuntarily fasting for three months. <laughs> Phoenix, I know you're hungry. I am too, and I'm not even human anymore. Uh, yeah, Maya. Doesn't something seem off about yeah yeah he's contradicting himself he's full of crap yeah it seems odd now that you mention it mr manella uh, uh, what do you want <laughs> when i went to studio two i saw something on the table there there were two plates that had the same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area yeah who ate lunch there oh uh. Uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. Huh? But I did eat. After all. <laughs> no one missed pennies. <laughs> okay, you're weird. A T-bone steak, you mean? Uh, yeah, well, I, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer thinking I could eat it a little later. <laughs> Clearly a man who loves to eat. I suspect as much. Yeah, no kidding. So when exactly did you eat? Uh, we took one break during the meeting. You lied! I wolfed it down then <laughs> with one single gulp. I didn't ask for that. Uh, a mental image I will carry for the rest of my life. <laughs> Wait a second. They took a break in the meeting. That contradicts his testimony. I'll press him on that a bit. We got it. Yes! Me and save my butt. I mean, she really... Oh, crap. I screwed up. I know. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay, I'm on it. You say no one ever left their chairs, but you did! Why can't I, like, object? What? You didn't take a single break? You literally went over this. You know I didn't. <laughs> What's he sweating for about? Okay, I have an idea. Wait a second. Yeah! Maybe I do have an idea. Press him harder. Thank God we finally found it. Jesus. Wait a second. Mr. Manella, you've just contradicted yourself! Didn't you just tell the court that you ate a T-bone steak? During a break? A break you just said didn't happen? Oh, it's rough! Did they really... They really gave this homeboy jiggle physics. Uh, well... Um... Mr. Manello? What's this all about? Uh, well, well, yeah, I, I guess we did take a... We took a little break out there. Phoenix, great job. 
if they'd take a break. One of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Okay, sure, why not? Mr. Miller, testify. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Uh-oh, that ain't good. <laughs> Crap, are we playing at Edgeworth's hand? I don't know. Uh, Here we go, down another lead. Yeah, FYI, I don't, uh, we took a break. We're awful. But it was only 15 minutes. That, that's only 13 and base 12? Boy, such a mathematic Not enough time for someone to say commit a murder in Studio One. Whoa! That's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. Uh huh. We all know you could eat a lot faster than that, but I, I don't think it would be even enough time for that. But that's just me, you know. I'm saying, I'm, all right. Very well. You may begin across the. What the? Don't that? That's not good at all. Crud. Okay. What was the first thing he said? He took a break. Brothel. I want to press him. What the crud does F-W-I-W mean? <laughs> what time exactly did you take this break? Uh, I'd say it was around 2... or 2.45. That's important, dude. 2.30. That's the time of death. So we could have gone to Studio One, killed a hammer, and come back to eat his cruddy steak. Hmm. Guess it's possible time-wise. Edgeworth's gonna pull, yes, but he is very large. How could anyone this obese run that fast, Phoenix? I don't know, dang. Maybe took the car. Uh, okay, that actually didn't help. Now it's time to commit murder. Why do you say that? That's really weird. Why is that? Oh my god, no, what? Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony at this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to be in Studio One. No, uh What? How do you know about a monkey head? Something wrong, Mr. Wright. Surely you aren't suggesting. One of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Uh, maybe. Well, Wright, what you got? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. See this? You see this bar? I'm about to get rid of it if you slip up even once, because that's fair. Okay, um, you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One. Uh, well, if it's not Penny, if it's not the security guard, and it's not our client, uh, yeah, I think it is. I agree to let everyone in that trailer off the hook, then the trial is over. Wait, I clicked the wrong thing? Am I stupid? The victim was murdered at 2.30. The exact time of the break in the meeting. With the 15 minutes, murder is certainly a possibility. Uh, yeah, I guess. Suppose you might say that. All right, I've got the, jo the judge thinking now. Tisk, tisk, tisk. <laughs> Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. I know, he lives quite the exciting life for a defense attorney. What's your point, Edgeworth? You've been doing your homework, haven't you? I haven't been in school in like four years. What? Look at the courtroom. The court record. Why, why, why? This thing? I've been ignoring the whole trial? What, what up? Surely you knew that 2.15 to 4. The path between the studio was blocked. Miss Monkey... Wait. Merce Monkey Head? Mi I thought it was a dude. What? It had fallen on the path. Okay. Yeah, you're right. But come on. It you can, get, you can get around that easily, maybe. I don't actually know. No, probably not, actually. Crap, he's got a point. True. The break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Miss Monkey Head barred the way. <laughs> so stupid sounding. No one could have committed murder because the giant head of the monkey was in the way. It's a, it's actually Mr. Monkey Edgeworth. See, I knew I was right. God dang it, Edgeworth. All right. Somehow I feel no desire to correct. <laughs> yeah, just keep, <laughs> just keep it ourselves. 
No kind of argument, right, Mr. Wright? You see, you see these things? They're about to go poo poo. I'm afraid you lose this round. What the do? Crap! I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the st Wait, I lost? It's over? All right. No way! For real? Very well, Coach opinion on this is case as follows. We have found there are several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it's also clear that none of these people could have done nothing. There are no relation to this case. What the dump? For the more, this regards the photo of the Steel Samurai. Given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All this lack is... I legit lost just because I wasn't paying attention. God dang it. I'm so dumb. All that's lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. We added that. I'm afraid we have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Oh, uh, crap, crap. No, we still have a chance. Maybe. I don't know. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. Ah, oh, dumb, bro. Come on. What? Whatever. No, you don't. Maybe he does. Uh. Oh, the heck is this witness, Ezra? May my witness saw the very moment when the Steel Samurai skewered the victim. Uh, it's the little kid. Yeah, this ain't good. Order! Come on. I see. The court will take a ten minute recess, after which we'll hear your witness. Court is adjourned! I'm gonna swing, yeah! I miss swinging. Anyways, that didn't go well at all. Crud, brother! Oh, I thought powers would be out here. Guess not. Mia, don't look mad at me. I'm sorry. What do we do now? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi. Girl, don't be killing me the silent treatment. What the crud? I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. What? Don't... Are we actually... No. Now I'm starting to doubt. Like, yeah, no, no one could have done it. Unless they're all just lying. Bruh. I'm scared, y'all. I'm not even kidding. Uh. Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I never give up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I get, oh my God. Mia, you're a genius. The, the murder could have happened in Studio 2! And they moved the body later! Bruh! Watch it not even be that crap. But that, that's what I think! I don't know! Okay. <clears throat> I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there... Eh? What? Uh, um... What's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we'll prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You know, you are the Seal Summer, a hero to children everywhere, after all. <laughs> She's so great, Gus. Oh. <laughs> wow, I really needed that today. Thank you. You. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Phoenix. This is one for the kids. Yeah, you're right. Let's do it. Heck, do I'm, I'm ready. When she said it like that, I realized. Just because the body was found in that area doesn't doesn't eliminate the possible. Wait, is my mic even on? Okay, we're good. Sorry, I got distracted. Does not eliminate the fact that the body could have been moved later. Just because all the other trials were like that so far. Crud, bruh. I think I'm gonna feel so dumb. And everyone that's played the game before is like, dude, you're so dumb. Like, but I don't care. I think I'm on to something. Goes back in session. What y'all do? Come on, tell me. Did you have some fun. I guess it was only 10 minutes. You could have done a lot, but you know. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, aw, oh, Fitchworth is looking out for him. And this is a murder case. We worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma to his cruel. With his cruel questioning? Man, what? Bruh! Okay, nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. I was about to say, but I don't think he is. <laughs> I guess he kind of is, but. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. Hackins, I'm going <laughs> Can we get his boy boost to see? Come on, what are we doing here? Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm. 
I got I got a couple of tangerine boxes lying around here. Here you go. God, please give me this box. One of those donut crates. <laughs> Donuts? <laughs> okay. There he is. Nice. What's up? Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Uh, we didn't go report cards. That is a lie. I know that you did. Okay, I make straight C's. Uh, <laughs> witness! Uh, what? Just because you're all grown up doesn't mean you can push me around. <laughs> He's got a point, Edgeworth. Cody, answer his question, okay? <laughs> oh, hey, it's the nice lady. Okay. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. Yeah. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. I'm all right with that. I'm having fun. <laughs> Miss Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be a little Gentile. <clears throat> uh, fine. Witness. Uh, Cody. Uh, he's having trouble. <laughs> I guess you can't talk to kids. Or anybody. Edgeworth, God, you were present. Uh, you were at Global Studios on the day of the... Incident? Do you know what that means? You got a problem with that punk? <laughs> Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you about Gramps and the beard over- Wait, you want me to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? He does not have grandchildren. I prefer a beard gentleman, but all right. A very, very long day. God dang it. Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in the courtroom. Get rid of that thing! Uh, uh. My apologies, Your Honor. We, he said he wouldn't testify if he could not bring it. I'd like special permission if that's possible. That's a thing? What? Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain with a kid? <laughs> we had to do the same thing, Phoenix! Why are you getting mad at him for it? <laughs> I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it. All that good yet. Bro. I feel you. God. For real. But I bring it with me everywhere I go. Phoenix, that is incredibly, incredibly lucky for us. Uh, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You better make a note of it. Uh, yeah, good point. Will do. Very well, Cody. Please testify to court what the crud you did that day on the incident, all right? Okay. So I need to keep, I need to keep it in my, my, my head. I need to not be biased. This kid is technically now on Edgeworth's side, but you know what? He could still help us out, so let's hear it. I want to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studio. <laughs> I went through the woods on the pass, so the old lady couldn't catch me. I was going for the studio, but I kind of got lost for, like, 30 minutes. Yeah. When I came by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. I was totally rocked. <laughs> right before my eyes, I came out... Out came the bad guy. What? But that's the good guy, I thought. What? Of course the Steel Stormer took him down! Pow! Wait, what? So, was someone in the evil magistrate costume? Or did he see the the rehearsal? We need to specify there. What up? Uh, if I had my camera then I, oh, I didn't have the camera. Dump. That would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get the studio, so I went home. That's definitely weird. Very well. Defense may begin to thank you, but be gentle! Why were you talking to a child? <coughs> Not that young. This kid's tougher than most adults in here, honestly. That's what I was thinking, bro. Alright, so... I'm... I'm gonna probably press everything, but... I want to see his Steel Summer rehearsal just once, but I thought... Hold up! I thought you said you've been to tons of them. The old lady says you see... That's... Is that not the truth? You really like the Steel Samurai, huh? Of course I do! Literally, I have this katana! I'll kill you! I taped every show, and I go to all the live performances! Hey, that's impressive. Have you been to the amusement park? Of course, duh! My dad always takes me. He's a good guy, I love him a lot. That, that's adorable, but also that poor father. <laughs> okay, that wasn't it. I thought that was a contradiction, but I found a map on the internet when in the studio that day. I don't see what we could gain from that, but I went to the woods the past, so the old lady wouldn't catch me. Did you see anybody else in the woods by chance? Like, I don't know, maybe there's a third party. Off the path? 
Yeah, you know how the studios are in a, a valley there? If you go off the path a little, there's woods. That's where I was. I see. Anywho. Okay, crap. I thought that was... Maybe gonna lead somewhere. So you're stuck, stuck in there for 30 minutes. You got lost, right? Yeah. Couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, I was relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But I guess what happened next? <sighs> oh, wait. I guess you'll tell us. Wait, no, crap. I screwed that up. This is the next statement. What sort of bad guy was it? A guy. Person. I don't know. Kind of tall, skinny. Crud. That's not good. That doesn't match the director's appearance at all. Are you sure it was a guy? Could still be Penny. I don't know. He was kind of far away. Dump. He's being awfully vague. Why? What's going on here, man? Of course, the seal samurai took him down, pal. By my camera. Why didn't you have that? That's weird to me, bro. You had your camera. You mean you weren't carrying the camera that day? N no, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. But you literally, really? Guessing the killing freaked him out, and he went home. Phoenix, he literally just lied. Remember, he's a child, though. Use gentle words, but be firm. Okay, yes, ma'am. Easy for you to say. Gosh, she is... <laughs> so kind! Okay, enough fanboying. Stinking... You literally... <sighs> but dude, he's a kid. No, I can't... This is court of law, dude. New digital camera always carries it. You literally just said that! Cody, what you just said seems... a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera everywhere you go? You were quite clear about that, actually. Uh, uh, Cody, you shouldn't lie. <laughs> Telling lies. <laughs> you understand that you shouldn't, right? Mr. Right, a word with you. Uh, was I putting on too much pressure? Whoops. What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? Are you for real? You don't, okay, Um, it's a, it's a digital camera, you know? A camera takes pictures. What the heck? You gotta, you gotta slow down. It does what? It's it's a magic wizarding slate. Oh yeah, yeah. We had the back in the day. It's a kind of a new sort of camera. Wow, this is an old old game. <laughs> How do I explain that? I don't. Real talk. Yesterday I was thinking like you know, as a little kid, people would always tell me they saw aliens. Obviously they were lying, right? But like. That kind of just stopped being a thing once everyone in the world has, like, smartphones and cameras on them at all times. I wonder how many crimes have been, what's it called, either prevented or, like, you know, they had that hard evidence just because someone was, like, filming. I don't know. That's kind of a plus to that invention. Tangent over. Uh, anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Why would he, why would he even lie about that? Um, Mr. Wright, how cruel are you to t terrorize a poor child? I just, I just want to know. That's all. I don't care if he's a child or a prosecutor's a, or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting's? A, a, are you insinuating that I am lying? Well, Cody, just kind of. <laughs> it's worth there. Uh, what? Yeah, so I have my camera, so what? You got a problem with that? Sh -sh oh, he has a little box, so that's funny. Uh, but dude, you, why? So why did I have a camera? And did you use a camera? Uh, why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching, okay? Man, y'all be tripping for real. Very well, please testify the court about what you're so busy watching. Don't say steal samurai or bird watching, because that's some bull crap. All right, um. Yeah, I have my camera with me. I was so glued to the action, I couldn't take my eyes off it. The steel samurai, it goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, the bad guy stopped moving. Kind of like, I guess there's no sound when you don't move, but, um, he's so strong. The steel samurai rules! Yeah. I can't deny that. He sure is epic. Oh, is that it? Dang, all right. That was brief. Mr. Wright, you know, do your, do your thing. All right, I'm, I'm getting tired of you. Okay. This will be pretty easy. Yeah, your camera with me. Then why'd you lie? So why don't you use it? 
Eat turrets. All right, he's getting to that. Relax and listen. Moppy? <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Edgeworth. I didn't use it because I was busy watching the real thing. I guess I can believe that, but what is the action that you saw that you couldn't take your eyes off of? So you're watching Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? And why didn't you upload it to Worldstar? Hmm. Y yeah. You didn't turn away, not even once. No! Okay, then. Tell us exactly what happened, word for word. Uh, I'm getting to it, okay? God, get out of my grill, homeboy. He goes for the bad guy. Wham. Like the guy from Jojo. Wait, that was Wamu. Never mind. What a weird character. Gosh. Anyway, um, the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong in samurai, samurai rules. No one can disagree with that, but... Why was he not moving? And what did this person look like? Why? Uh, uh what do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Uh... Because the Steel Samurai brought him to justice, duh! And how exactly did he do that? Yeah, what is what is the tool he used? How did he do it? With a Samurai kick! Wah! Samurai chop! Samurai swap! Something like that, you know. So not the murder weapon. We need to ask Cody if he had the spear with him. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops! I'm not your dad. I'm like 24. That's... I guess you could be... Whatever. How should I play this? No, we gotta press him harder. Did he have the spear with him? That's important. Cody. What? Something's bothering me. We'll get it looked at by a doctor. I don't care. Before you said that you didn't take your eyes off the action, right? Yeah, so? Yet you missed the most important part. Uh, oh my god. How did he do it? We gotta know. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated he saw quite clearly. No, he didn't. He didn't. We need the most important part. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. And I think you put him up to that. Mm. Tell me! What kind of murder uses a samurai slap? Uh, he, he knows. We're on to it. My point is this, Cody, you may have seen the Steel Samurais fight, but you didn't see him kill anybody. But you missed the important part, the killing blow. Yeah. This is kind of tricky, because he does, he's a little kid. He doesn't know what's murder and what isn't. We're finally getting somewhere, crud. Mr. Wright, settle down. There's a child present. Don't be arguing like that. He's going to be traumatized. How could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, uh, yeah, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Don't screw it up. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? Because it didn't happen there! I know you. You can figure this out. She has so much faith in me, I can't screw this up. Ugh. Mr. Wright, your answer? We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of Steel Samurai. Why don't he watch the climax of the battle? Uh... Uh... He couldn't watch it? I guess? No, let me actually like really think about this. If I say he couldn't watch it, that's me saying that the end of the fight actually happened in some other location. Which is literally what I want to say, because I feel like that is what's going on. He was watching something else. No, because he said he watched every second of it. And I don't... Yeah, do I have any evidence to disprove it? Path of Glory contains photo of every scene in every battle. Uh... No, I think we got to go with option one. I hope. Because he couldn't have watched it. He could be... He, How could he calmly watch a murder taking place at his age? Uh, just a moment, please. One thing he's become quite clear in this boy's testimony. He did not believe he was witnessing a murder. Then that just helps me out. He was watching the Steel Samurai fight like on television. The more real the fight, the more he would have watched. No? Uh, I gotta agree with that. That makes sense. Mr. Wright, do you have another explanation? Wait, really? I screwed up. Dang, I thought for sure that was it.
Okay, so I'm actually, I'm literally just closing my eyes and I'm trying to envision, like, being Cody, seeing this, like, fight go down, right? He's super fixated. He's not going to even turn his head. So he definitely was what? He was watching something else? I don't know. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? I, oh, crap, dude, I screwed up. I don't know. I'm just gonna say, I have evidence, and then we'll work it out. Your Honor? I have evidence. Uh, you do? Yes, Your Honor. Well, <clears throat> yeah, I'm on that. Why did Cody look away from the fight? So it gave me this prompt. So now I just have to actually think. It's none of these. The monkey head? The monkey head could have... No, that time doesn't match up. No, it does, actually. No, it doesn't. Because it's 2.15. Dude. So the monkey head did not fall. Yet. So he wouldn't have been distracted by that. The path of glory... Maybe he's looking at that to, like, see... Nah, that'd be pointless. Maybe it's the camera again. Cody always cares it, though he's still learning how to use... Oh my god. So he's trying to, he's like trying to like take a picture of it, right? But he has to look down to like try and figure out his camera. And in that moment, that's it, dude. I'm for sure. Thank god the music stopped. Okay. Here's my proof! There is that thing, the, the camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yeah. So what, you want one for Christmas? I ain't charge of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. Yeah. Few people are, except geniuses. But, but wait a minute! Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera! He was trying to take a picture! Okay, whatever. That works out. Bullseye. What's your problem, man? You got a thing for picking on little kids? No, what? I'm pressing, not picking. God. The only thing I pick is my nose. Phoenix, good job. What? what, what? <laughs> Cody was lying. Clearly. What? Why is he lying? Did Edgeworth put him up to this? Jesus. Smart of you to realize there's no way he could just stand there watching. His hero. I don't know if it was smart on me, but if you say so, all right. And not take a picture. Yeah. Cody? Was there only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight? And that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight. Correct? <laughs> Baka. Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I bet you anything he's hiding more than just that. Yeah, for real. Have him testify again. Okay, Maya means business, dude. She's out for blood. She wants a win. I don't blame her. Two, Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify once more. Jeez, man. All right, go for it, Cody. Could you please tell us what the crud was over the camera and about why you didn't take a picture during the fight? Um. Welcome to the real world, kiddo. Phoenix, chill out. Gosh, she's literally crying. No photo. What gives? He's clearly bummed about it, but hey, whatever. Yeah, you're right, I lied. So what? I don't care. I'm not gonna get grounded. You're not my dad. The seal samurai just escaped from the clutches of the evil villain. When did this happen? Hold up. Oh man, I wish you could press right now, but I guess I have to finish their testimony first. So he held my camera to take a picture, but the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Yup. So he missed the final. So he's not a reliable commentator or er, what narrator of this story because he didn't see the finishing blow and it's strange i was i just i was not not at all bro I'm, yeah i'm not sure but i like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway uh man i kind of want to believe him now because this makes logical sense see if someone just escaped from the clutches of the villain okay so but that doesn't add up what you just said so you did see the beginning of the fight. Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Uh, well, uh, 
I guess this your Samar is moving a little strange. No, come on. Crud. Moving strangely. Like the limp. No. So I held so I held up my camera to take a picture. Yeah, we got that. But the lens wouldn't come off in time, so I missed it. Why didn't it come off in time? When the lens opened. What did you see? Oh yeah, I didn't even though if you didn't take a picture, you could look through the viewfinder. Well, person on the ground and the steel samurai. Oh man, I wish we had a visual of that. And that's all that happened. I don't I don't believe you, man! Something's going on here! That's all. Yeah! I told you I didn't take a picture! <sighs> Crud. I would have once that lens opened. Did he really not take a picture? Not even once? Even if it's a cruddy picture. Bro, Cody, why are you lo- He wants to defend the Steel Samurai, dude. Which is what we want to do too, but... We don't know that Will Powers was in that suit. The suits could have been, I don't know, revert? I don't freaking know. Okay. We gotta press them, no matter what. Nah, I definitely would take a picture. There's gotta be something I can use. Cody. Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. Boy, if you is lying. You took a picture! Uh, hey! Bullseye? Can we, like, check his camera to find out? Like, did no one do that? How did you know? I didn't! I see through your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my lawyer powers. Wow, that's kind of epic. <laughs> this feels awesome. <laughs> Lying to children, Phoenix? What the? Okay, I took a picture. <laughs> Perhaps you can change the testimony to reflect that. Well, that'd be dope. I'm just saying. I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. What? What was on the pictures then? You erased them? Am I gonna erase it? No, it, it, it's a figure of, it's like a cooter function. What the hell y'all talking? Oh my God. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved steel samurai victorious? Well, you know. No, I don't. I don't wanna keep pictures like that. Like that. It's becoming less and less cooperative. This is not good. I better find a clear contradiction soon, or some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. I don't think there is. Take up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what the kid is all about. Um... Um... Contains photos of every victory scene and every... This is... This is Cody's, right? I'm pretty darn sure. And these are all photos that he took at, like, the... Yeah, that's it! He... He deleted the pictures. Oh my God, we got him. I feel, I feel like a turd, but like, this is it. You didn't keep those pictures because. Oh my God, we did it. What? What the crud? What now? Why is the music gone? I don't like this. Man, every time you say Cody, follow something bad. Can you call me Brody or something instead? I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Really, it was a great help. Uh huh? Oh yeah, that thing. What of it? What was it, then, that you told me? Something about... I go to every live performance. I take a picture, steal samurai, we lands the final blow. Sha-sha! I got them all. Never miss one. Perfect collection. Hmm... Cody? Did you really get a picture of the steel samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe you would just erase it. Yeah. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Uh, Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? Can I see it? Is it like a scrapbook? Can I, can I put my own pictures in it? It's called Path to Glory. Phoenix, it literally says Samurai Scrapbook on the top, but all right. It's a collection of pictures of the Seal Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Seal Cody's lying! Cody! Where are your parents? Why are they not teaching you to tell the truth in the court of law? I see, I see. Oh. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all the pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day! Not a single one. Order? Come on. This is a, a pretty cruddy explanation, but, uh, Phoenix, you got, you have an explanation? Um... 
We are literally like building a house of cards and planning to live in it at this point. But you know what? Hey, if it works out, it works out. <laughs> As a steel samurai had just defeated his other samurai, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in the album, but it ain't one. What the good? Huh? Exactly my point, Your Honor. What the crap? Yo, wait, what? what? No way, no way. What? What? Phoenix, do you need to use the restroom? I think we finally discovered the truth. What? And that truth is? Mia, are we are we sure about this? Did he actually? What? Yes. Um, what the crud? I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is? I, I don't uh, know if I should. Mr. Wright, please explain why you just like freaked out there. What, what the heck is going on? Why was there no picture in the album the day of the murder? What I want to say is, and I even looked at, I, I, like my eyes are closed because I'm trying to focus. The Steel Samurai was not victorious. Okay, yeah, the Steel Samurai didn't win. That's the answer. But th what? Then what really happened? I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai did not win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. I mean, the Steel Samurai... Lost the heck? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No, no way, no! <laughs> it's impossible, the Steel Samurai never... I don't give a crud, he did today. He never loses to anyone, except that one time. Uh... Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and he told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. But like, <laughs> I'm sorry, this, this, this is really shaky evidence, but if you say so. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. No, let's backtrack. All right, so if I'm watching like Power Rangers, you know, whatever, every single time, Snagging, Red Ranger's gonna beat up the bad guy. Sure, valid. By the end of the credits, you know that things are gonna be okay. If this was a scripted event, which it wasn't, why would the Steel Samurai not win? So this clearly was not a mock scenario. That is sus. Yet to admit that he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied, and said the Steel Samurai won. Yeah, that checks out. Crap. He couldn't handle the truth! Dang, never mind. Straight up. That's, that makes sense. Order, come on. Uh, I'm not gonna say it again. I'm gonna, uh, I mean, Cody. You being true true? Or you being poo-poo? What the heck did you see? Tell the court what you saw. Come on. Hey. <laughs> oh my gosh, poor kid. Jesus. Why is it the turnabout theme? Is this like a big deal? Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? Uh, okay, I did, you're right. The Steel Samurai fell down and it didn't move. <laughs> so, what the heck? Oh my god, y'all are the worst core ever! Shut up! Oh, there he goes. I was about to say, where, where's Edgeworth at? What kind of son are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim! Yet according to your witness testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. So which is it? <laughs> Mr. Wright, we don't need none of that sass. What the crow's going on, though? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? Uh, Hammer was the victim? No. What? There was no victim? Steel Samurai was the victim. Y yeah, whoever was in that suit was actually the person that died that day. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. But I'll talk slowly for you, Edgeworth. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer. He was the victim! 
Don't you see? That also explains the... That explains the thing next to Studio 2! Dude! Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai! Come on, way too much fun today. <laughs> oh my gosh! Shut up! Jesus! So the Steel Samurai in the photograph. They're saying the man in the costume was the victim? Instead of the person that's usually in what? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run-through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Power's foot injury, which is why he was limping! Holy crud! Whoa, 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 whoa slow down! How did Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony. That's true! Oh my god! On the day of the mud, I arrived at the guard station at one. Did I see old Hammer? Nope, I didn't. I wouldn't have ever forget him. Oh my god, he's so sexy. He already gone to the studio before I got back to the station. So... Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. Jack was doing something sus! Dude, he's not innocent, he, but he ended up dying. How? However, no one saw him go to Studio One. There was no eyewitness, nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his... Dr you gotta be kidding me. Did he give him the sleeping pills? Hammer's behind all of this, but how did he end up dying? Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Yeah. Dude. But why would a victim do such a thing? I don't freaking know. Cody, is there something you're not telling us? I get it. Huh? What are you saying? I thought the Steel Samurai is moving strange. So is a different person inside the suit. Pops! I'm way too young. Oh my, what? The crud. Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Huh? A photo of my digital camera! Okay. Let, let us have it. What is it? <laughs> we just got this desk! Gentlemen, please, chill out! Show us. Quick. No way, man. Now you're gonna look at me like that. Uh. Oh, come on. Gosh, why do we have one of the scariest <laughs> gentlemen in the world? <laughs> Here, this is it. I kept it in my back pocket. I knew it. Dude. This didn't this didn't happen near the monkey statue at all, like I thought. This happened in Studio 2. Dude! Looking at this is a little hard to say. Pray that I could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? Uh yeah. This isn't decisive evidence, but it does help. Sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need, Sonny. I'll give it back. Here you go. Gonna... Wait, Phoenix. Uh, what? M Mia? What? Look at the photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. It is? Oh, uh, okay. Shoot. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. Huh? Y your Honor, could I have that back? Oh, man. I'll just put it away. All right, fine. May I see that photo once more? Okay. Go for it. All right. Should I like looking at samurai butts? I guess. <laughs> Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring, decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. What? Find the inconsistency? Uh, oh my gosh, what, what's going on with my controller? Uh, um, his booty? I don't know. What the, uh, the two? This is an S, not a two. So I think I need to click on, yeah, there we go. Okay, your honor. <laughs> I was, over, I was overthinking that so hard. Look at this! I see. A gate. How pretty. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? That's an S. But an S in reverse kind of looks like... It, it's hard to say, but it looks like a number two. But not that number two. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Clearly not a number one. Your Honor. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> we got him! I believe everyone in Studio 2 is full of crap! Yes, dude! I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. <laughs> but, but that's impossible! Huh? Oh, what's it about? Oh my god, please explain for the hard of hearing and the rest of the court. I'll use the studio guide map. Ha <laughs> Yeah! 
The body was found. The body was found in Studio One. <laughs> However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say number one, but in fact, more than one. Your Honor, here's the true scene of the crime. Show the judge where the murder took place. Uh, why does it keep doing? Oh, okay, I, I keep thinking my controller is breaking. All right, it's right there. Duh, here at Studio Two. That really take an hour for us to discover? Holy crap. All right, that would explain the number two in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio One, or Studio Two. The trailer is there? The filming, uh, the path was blocked. So, uh, what, what would that tell us? No, I'm, I'm for sure that's the answer. The path the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. That makes it basically a closed room scenario. Holy crud. Then, in other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Oh my God. I suppose that would be the case. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, we're starting to get there. I'm figuring it out. Holy crud. I'm so happy. <laughs> Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Bro, he would have saw that or heard it at least. Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they have got gone to studio. You shouldn't have said that, Mr. Sal. Yet in actuality, the reverse is true. Everyone not in that studio is a suspect. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. Dude! There were only, we, we actually saved his butt. I cannot believe this. There were only once with access to this Seen the cr- Yeah! Holy dump! As you may recall, there's a trailer in Studio 2. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death, which means everyone there is a suspect. And they burned it in that incinerator, bro! The, the evidence, that is. But during that break, Mr. Salmonella and D- Miss Didi were outside eating steak. Yeah! They were at the scene of the crime. So it's it's either him, her, or one of the executives. Bro, we got him. Kinda. We still gotta find the true suspect, or the true culprit, but the defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person the security guard, Miss Old Bag, saw the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Jack Hammer, for some reason, stole a samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. Mm, you're wrong, bro. This is madness. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim. Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so? To cover up the details of his own murder? Uh, yeah, kind of. Well, well, no, of course. Wait, no, 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 no I, didn't, I didn't mean that at all. Phoenix, I'm taking points off of that. You misspoke. Uh, or do you have proof? Give me proof that victim Jack... Okay, what is the what is the proof that he stole the costume? Uh, it's gotta be it's gotta be the sleeping pills, right? Or to be this, because that's pretty incriminating too. But we can't prove that. Yeah, that wouldn't help us out. Yeah, I got proof. The sleeping pills. Oh, I got proof. <laughs> you do? Yeah, you do. What the heck? How? Now that there's. Why are they so surprised? <laughs> I'm much less confident now. I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof. The jackhammer stole the costume. The sleeping pills. This is it. Uh, medicine? The heck? You're not abusing substances, Phoenix. I, no, I, I found this on the table in the employee area. Empty. The same table where Mr. Powers and Hammer ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills. Well, why didn't the pills wake up? That's not what, oh my, okay. Um, The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent the entire afternoon sleeping. Isn't that a little weird? He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Yeah, it's, it's all starting to make sense. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Why is this the most intricate murder scheme of all time? That bottle does raise suspicions, yes, but there's no proof that he used them. Oh my god. Okay, uh, Your Honor, I have an idea. Uh... 
We can test his blood? What? Can we? Uh, fingerprints on the bottle. Yeah, that'd be way better. It, check the bottle for prints. An idea? All right, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Pammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. But I am paying for the forensic test. That crap's expensive, Jesus. Okay, go cool. take a possession of the bottle. Empty bottle given to the judge. Heck yeah, dude. Man, just one person's testimony can turn the whole case around. God dang. This was nuts! What the cr- Like, my wig fell off. Oh yeah, I have a wig. The score will, uh, suspend proceedings on the current trial for the day. Cody Agnes' testimonies reveal new possibilities in the case, thank God. And the, <laughs> the judge is very biased, I see. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we first perceived. Seal Samurai by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but in fact, Studio Two. And those in the trailer did not have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yeah, what up, homie? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? And don't say because it's meant to be steel. <laughs> that was a joke, Sonny. You might have missed it, but who killed him and why? Find the answer for me tomorrow. Wow, we actually have another day of this trial. Jesus. That's a lot of homework to do in one day. Jesus. Okay. Edgeworth? Hmm? Just keep sitting there saying pretty. You don't gotta do nothing, all right? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you need to reconsider your suspicion on Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. But I'm gonna do nothing but go home and play mobile games. <laughs> That's not invented yet. This came out in the 90s, I think. I don't know. This trial will be extended till tomorrow. This is my final extension. I got other cases, you know. I'm a busy boy. I don't know. Oh my gosh, we finally have some breathing room. Holy crud. Very well, court adjourned. Man. I'm not gonna toot my own horn there. I'm just saying, I, I kind of, I kind of did all right this time. It was definitely better than fighting with old bag. Holy crud, Jesus! Whew! Oh my God, dude, I've never been more relieved, except when you know I'm relieved. But that was a close one. Well, I saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh uh, wait. Uh, really? You both seem so confident. Uh, you know, I used to be in acting classes in middle school. Uh, maybe I should take up a career in acting. <laughs> I was even looking at the screen, Jesus. I'm ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. But, guys! Uh, dead? <laughs> uh, of course, we're just kidding. I will not. Uh, are you sure? <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> <clears throat> now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation, but I promise you, we'll find the true killer behind this tomorrow. Yeah. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Man, I don't know what's going to happen, but I know I'm hooked. Oh, my gosh.